So let's take a look at Euler's method. So for this problem, we have to use Euler's method with a step size of 0.1 to estimate y of 0.5 when dy dx or y prime is equal to y plus x times y and the initial condition that y of 0 equals 1. So now this might look a bit confusing, y of 0 equals 1, but what that basically is saying is that when x is 0, the output or the y value you get is 1. And so notice how we are given that the initial condition or the initial value when x equals 0 we get 1. And we're trying to estimate what we get as the y value when x is equal to 0.5. So in order to do Euler's method, we have to set up a table. Now you just need five columns. So you need the x column, your y, your slope or m, delta y or the change in y, and then I'm just going to call it y sub n because it's just your new y value. So as mentioned before, it is giving us the initial co initial condition that when we plug in 0 for x, we get y, or we get 1 for y. So that, those will be our initial x and y values. So that's what we'll put in the table first. So when x is 0, y is 1. Now, now in order to find slope, or m, that's just going to be when you plug in your x and y values into your differential equation. So notice y prime or dy dx, either way, both are interchangeable, is going to be equal to y plus x times y. So I can just plug in my x and y values into this equation, and I can find what the slope is equal to, since the slope is just dy dx. So if y is 1 and x is 0, then we get 1 plus 0 times 1, which is 0. So we get the slope of 1. And remember that for in order to find delta y, delta y or the change in y over the change in x is equal to the slope. So in order to find delta y, we can just isolate it and multiply over the x. So delta y is going to be m times delta x. And delta x is just going to be the step size. And notice how it's giving us the step size or the step size of 0.1. So that will be our delta x. So delta x is equal to 0.1. So delta x is going to be equal to 0.1. So once again, in order to find delta y, we just have to find our slope and our delta x. And notice how our slope is 1 and delta x is 0.1. So delta y is just going to be equal to 1 times 0.1, or 1 times 1 over 10, which is just going to be equal to 1 over 10, or 0.1. And your new y value, or your y new, this is pretty simple. Y new is just going to be equal to your initial y plus delta y. So in order to find y new in this row, we're just going to take 1 and add 0.1. So we have 1 plus 0.1, and then we'll get 1.1. So that is our new y value. So notice how we started at the initial condition of x equals 0 and we're trying to estimate or go to when x equals 0.5 and our step size is 0.1. So basically each step we take or each row that we make we're going to go up 0.1. So we have, if we start at 0 we get 0 0.1, then 0 0.2, then 0 0.3, all the way up to 0 0.5 because that's what we're trying to estimate. So now starting with the next row when x is 0.1, we have already found our new y value of 1.1. So all I can do is move that down here to our new initial y value. So in order to find slope, you just have to plug in the x and y variables into the dy dx equation, or the y prime equation. So when I do so, y is 1.1 and x is 0.1. So we'll get the slope is going to be equal to 1.1 plus x times y, so 0.1 times 1.1. And that will give you 1.21, so that is our new slope. So then delta y is going to be equal to the slope times delta x. Once again, delta x is still 0.1. And keep in mind that with most Euler's method problems, you can usually use a calculator, so it makes stuff much easier.
So delta y is going to be 1.21, our slope, times delta x. And delta x, once again, is 0.1. So we just move a decimal place back, and that will give us 0 0.121. And finally, for y nu, we can just add the initial y value and the delta y, or the change in y. So 1.1 1 .1 plus 0 0.121 is going to give you 1.221. And I can put that as my new initial y value when x is now 0.2. And then I can repeat this process over until I get to 0.5. Now when you're all done it should look something like this. And I wasn't really consistent with my decimal rounding because some of them I had went to one decimal place, some of them to five. but uh, my final answer, when I plug in, or when I estimated when x is equal to 0.5, what y will equal, I get around 1.777. Now if you had a consistent rounding, you probably had something close, but not exactly to what I had. But it should be something close to this number, because this is just an approximation method. Honestly, Euler's method is just an approximation. And it gives you not an exact idea, but a pretty good idea of what the solution should be around.